Good morning. Breaking overnight, Indiana outlaws abortion. The state becoming the first in the nation to approve a new near total ban on abortion since the Supreme Court overturned Roe v. Wade. Why even some Republicans opposed it and what it means for women and abortion providers in the state. Resounding rebuke, a Texas jury orders conspiracy theorist Alex Jones to pay for his lies, more than $45 million to the parents of a Sandy Hook victim. The money on top of another $4 million in damages. Other parents, I wanted to represent you well. I know that you have endured pain um, just like I have over the past 10 years. And this is a huge victory for all of you. Jones apologetic in court, but later defiant on the air. We're live with the latest. Easing recession fears, the White House celebrating some hopeful economic news, with the U.S. adding more than a half million jobs in July, doubling expectations. The economy now gaining back all 22 million jobs lost since the pandemic began. But it comes as the Biden administration faces major foreign policy challenges with Russia and China. We're live at the White House. All that plus the hunt is on. Hundreds of people stalking through the Florida Everglades this weekend with a shared goal. It's 9 o'clock. They're starting to come out. To catch as many great Burmese pythons as possible. What's your advice to the novices? Be careful. Be careful. <laughs> Why so many people are sussing out snakes today, Saturday, oh. August 6th, 2022. From NBC News, this is Today with Peter Alexander and Kristen Welker. Welcome to Today. Thanks for joining us on this Saturday morning. It turns out that snowbirds aren't the only ones converging on Florida these days. <laughs> they are overwhelmed by this awful invasive species, the great oh. Burmese python, sometimes 20 <laughs> feet in length. I can barely look at the video. Thank goodness for Carrie Sanders for going down there to get the story for us. I take a hard pass on that, yeah, by the way. I think you're wise to do that. We'll have the latest on the Florida Python Challenge coming up in a bit. But this morning, we do have some breaking news from overnight, and that is what happened in Indiana lawmakers there approving a near total ban on abortions overnight, becoming the first state in the country to enact a new law since the Supreme Court overturned Roe v. Wade. The Republican governor there, Eric Holcomb, signed the bill into law within an hour of the state's Republican controlled, controlled legislature passing it. Even some Republican lawmakers say the law that goes into effect next month goes too far. That's right. It includes almost no exceptions, permitting abortions only in cases of rape and incest before 10 weeks to protect the life of the mother or if the fetus has a, quote, lethal anom anomaly. It, this law mandates that the procedures can only take place in hospital facilities. What that means is that all abortion clinics will lose their licenses in Indiana. Plus, any doctor who performs an illegal abortion will lose their medical license. Abortion rights obviously going to be a very defining issue in this fall's midterms. Mm -hmm. No better evidence than that. What happened in Kansas this week where voters in the largely red state overwhelmingly voted to protect abortion rights. Meantime, Democrats are hoping to come together in Washington today for a test vote on that massive economic plan aimed at reducing inflation. Now that Arizona Senator Kirsten Sinema has signaled her willingness to agree to the deal. NBC's Ali Vitale is on Capitol Hill with What Lies Ahead. Ali, good morning to you. Yeah, Peter.